Hi, I'm Chef Mark and this is Cruising in the Kitchen. Today we're going to show you how to make ricotta crusted chicken for dinner. So, mise en place, here's all the ingredients we're going to start with. These are two chicken breasts. I'm going to start with the chicken breasts. I started to pound them. They were a little bit bigger than that. So basically I'm just trying to get them flat in one particular even thing. I am using a, this is a meat tenderizer or a pounder. You can also use a, they make a separate meat pounder. You can use the back of your chef knife. It's kind of fun actually. Get some aggression out. But basically, you just want to get the thickness to be thin enough so that it will saute evenly. Uh, one thing I can say about this particular chicken breast, um, it's, a farm, it's a farm chicken breast. It's not quite as big as the normal ones in the store. So sometimes you see the big bulbous chicken breast, sometimes you can actually just cut the whole chicken breast in half, butterfly it, and pound those. This one was thin enough that you can pound it right away without um, doing uh, any sort of butterflying. It was thin enough. Now, you notice I used the paper. Once again, this, you're working with chicken, you want to you want to stay clean. So whatever surface you're dealing with, you need to keep it clean. I choose the paper because I throw it away right afterwards. My pan is warming up, and I'm just going to salt and pepper the chicken and brown it. And we'll work on the rest of the recipe while this is going. always want to season your meat on both sides. Let's put that in here. I really do like working with paper though. You'll see me a lot with using parchment paper just to save myself and sanitize it as well as after many. Everything gets clean but it's so much easier this way. So, chicken breast is ready. And basically there's three components to this meal. Chicken breast, the topping, and the ricotta cheese. Basically this is gonna get browned. We're gonna layer it with a nice flavorful ricotta cheese topping. And we're putting a flavorful breadcrumbs on top of that. And the way you, fr this is panko. So this is half a cup of panko. This is half a cup of ricotta cheese quarter cup of Parmesan, which I grated myself. You can buy it in the store grated. I think you'll find the quality of the cheeses is better if you just buy the block of cheese and use a little block grater yourself. So, real easy, just a little bit of seasoning for the panko. Salt, pepper, and olive oil. The pan is not hot enough, so I'm just gonna wait. I'll do all this while the pan's getting warm. I would say a quarter teaspoon of salt, eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, and a tablespoon of olive oil. You can use butter, but you know, health-wise, it's a little better to use the olive oil. And we're just gonna make sure it's coated. You can see how it starts to. Doesn't have to be 100%, but so there's your coating, and this is gonna go on top of the ricotta cheese and crisp up in the oven. The oven's preheating at 425. And this is about a cup, cup and a half of sauce. You, that's kind of to taste, but you'll see. We'll use at least a cup, I'm sure. So, let's do the ricotta mixture. This is just ricotta cheese. And this kind of, this kind of recipe is, um, was inspired by having some leftover ricotta cheese, and I didn't know what to do with it, and I had a couple pieces of chicken. So I did some research, and I found out what different people did with this, and this is my spin on ricotta crusted chicken. So to flavor this, we're just going to add the Parmesan that I grated. This is a little dry pizza spice, oregano, or Italian seasoning. I have Italian seasoning, salt, and I need some pepper in here too. And this is pretty much the basic mixture. And then you can flavor this all kinds of different ways depending on your taste. And what I have here is what I like. I have a garlic clove minced. Some jalapeno I found in the fridge, and some fresh herb to kind of brighten it up. So, definitely optional, but 
certainly give yourself some artistic t freedom to add whatever you want. I can see red chili going in here. I can see fresh oregano, margarine, you know, any sort of herbs you have in the summer. That's all we're doing is flavoring up this ricotta cheese. Great quick meal for a weeknight. Something different because there's so much chicken that everybody's eating. It's really nice to get a different way of preparing it once in a while. So let's see how hot the pan is. Turn it up. A tablespoon of oil or so. Remember, nothing's exact. Don't worry about it. If you need more, you can always add it. This is a non skillet pan, so obviously. The amount I need is probably not as much as if it was a different kind of pan that wasn't non-stick. So you, you just want a hair sizzle. And we're going to brown these for three minutes on each side and we'll come back and we'll see how we layer this up and put it together. Pretty much the six minutes of cooking the chicken and a couple of minutes of putting this together. And then we throw it in the oven and it's 20 minutes after that. Pretty fast thing to do once you put your ingredients together. I can't stress enough how the mise en place, putting together all the ingredients ahead of time is going to save you a lot of that duration of time and whatnot. So we'll come back in a couple minutes and I'll show you what the chicken looks like cooked. And then we'll start layering up and throwing it in the pan and it's chicken for tea. Okay, it's been five or six minutes. I'm going to shut the stove off and we're going to start layering our meal here. So just want to get some color on the chicken. It's going to cook in the oven. And let's start building our little fun. I would say half a cup to three quarters of a cup of sauce. You layer it down. This can be your homemade sauce. This can be jarred sauce. That's why this recipe is really good. It's a great weeknight meal. It doesn't take too long to prepare. I'm going to sit in the sauce. Sauce on top as well. And now we'll put the ricotta on top of all that. I think it's going to be too hard. So you just build this little kind of layered thing. It's kind of fun too. You make some painting. It's like painting. Just spread your ricotta out. It's kind of fun to play with your food, obviously. And this looks super good. This is a super flavorful mixture. It's a little bit like a filling of lasagna without the egg inside. A little sprig of parsley got in there. It's good enough. Layer it nice and thick because I think I'm going to like it cheesy. So, good enough. And the good thing is, the these will crisp up in the oven as well. There's a lot, you know, the oil in it, once the heat hits it, it'll get all brown and crispy. You'll see that when it comes out. Same thing with the crumbs. Try to get as much as you want. I want a lot, so I'm going to try to squeeze as much as I can in here. Because the crunchy bits are awesome. A lot of good seasoning. Every every layer that we every component that we've added here is seasoned. So you've got your salt and pepper and your cheese and topping. Chicken is seasoned down below. You have a flavorful sauce. It should be really good. So, ricotta crusted chicken. Not bad for a weeknight meal. 20, 25 minutes it took to cook. To prepare that, it's only going to take another 20 minutes in the oven. I'm going to take some photos when it comes out. Well, it's been 25 minutes at 425. Let's check it out. Oh, this looks pretty good. 
we get some bubbling. So that is what you're looking for. I would let that cool, obviously, five, ten minutes. And serve it with some of the sauce on the side. And rice or pasta, you know, whatever you like. Some veggie salad. Looks like a good weeknight meal to me. So join us on the next adventure of Cruising in the Kitchen. Who knows what's next? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.